beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is Adona Lauren and I'm a fourth year medical student studying at the University of the West Indies if you are new to my channel welcome thank you so much for clicking on this video I really appreciate it and to my OG viewers I actually just want to give you guys a special thanks for supporting me up until this point this is a fairly new channel and for the past few days I've been waking up to 10 20 new subscribers people have been commenting and engaging and asking questions questions and to me it's not just about views and likes but my goal for this channel was to be transparent in my journey in hopes that my transparency would help someone else through theirs so to have you guys engaging with me the way you have been doing is just really motivating for me and just kind of assures me that I'm on the right track so thank you so much but anyway let's get into this video <laughs> nah all right intro done intro done all right <laughs> So in my last video, I showed what prepping for my last exam in Jamaica was like for me. Long nights, all of that, blah, blah, blah. And that was my pathology and microbiology exam. Before I even uploaded that video, <laughs> like a couple of days before I uploaded it, I actually found out that I failed that exam. <laughs> The exam I was studying for in that video, I failed that exam. <laughs> I'm going to laugh. Oh my gosh. But the thing is, I had already filmed and I was almost like done editing it prior to finding out that I failed it. So by the time I found that I failed it, I was like, hmm, should I upload this? Whatever. So once I uploaded it and I shared it on my different platforms like Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp stories, LinkedIn, I had people commenting like, oh, I hope you did well. Let us know how you did. This and that. Did you pass? And I'm looking at the comments like, <laughs> I mean, no shame on my game, baby. <laughs> I've been dealing with this journey for a long time. I know sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. It is what it is. So not only did I come on here to update y'all on how I did on the exam, to tell y'all that I didn't pass, I also wanted to use this as an opportunity to talk about dealing with failure in medical school. I think that we all kind of set the bar high for ourselves so even if you don't literally fail an exam you might have a certain standard that you might not meet on a day-to-day -day basis whether it be you know aiming for an A on an exam and you get a C that's not a fail but to you you failed or it might be something like not performing as well as you would have wanted to on ward rounds or during a presentation or something. I say that to say you might not find yourself failing an exam or failing an assessment, but many of us at some point are going to find ourselves missing the mark, whether it be a mark that we set for ourselves or that was set by the university. This is now my second time failing a course at UE, so while I was in medical school. I'll tell y'all more about the first time I failed in another video because it's kind of tied up into my leave of absence and yeah, uh, that's another video. So if you watched my last video, you would see like throughout the video, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know how I can pass this one. Oh my gosh, I don't know how I can cover all this information. Not even a quarter into what I feel like I should have been into by now. You know, even up until the night before the exam, I was like, whoo, you know, this ain't looking too good. I can try my best, but you know, I know. And honestly, I think it's too late for me to like learn new things. Yeah, I don't feel ready. I don't feel ready at all, but I'm hopeful that I'm gonna pass. Well, I hope I'm gonna pass, I should say. Basically, all throughout that exam prep process, I wasn't sure that I was gonna be able to cover all of the sections because the course was in four sections. I wasn't sure if I would be able to even reach each of the four sections, let alone all the different topics within the sections. And honestly, I didn't. I didn't get to cover it all um, because for me, it was just too much, I ain't gonna lie. And you know what? If my dean was to see this video, she'd be like, I told you so. <laughs> because I actually went into this rotation late. I begged my dean 
to let me come into this rotation in the third week because how to explain this quickly <laughs> but when i came back from my leave of absence i came back early so the last rotation i had to do before this one overlapped with this one so for me to get out of jamaica quickly i needed to come into this rotation late just to get it out of the way in short so basically i ended up begging my dean please please dr chapman please let me go in this rotation late blah, blah, blah. and she was like girl nobody goes into this rotation late and passes and i was like man don't worry about me don't worry about me like I, i'll try my hardest like i'll i'll try to keep up and catch up well let's just say i was able to keep up sort of but i definitely was not able to catch up like i definitely wasn't able to catch up i can just be real with y'all 100 percent. so at ue mona the pass mark is 50 percent and at the end of each exam every single exam i've ever taken at ue i try to count how many answers i feel like i got right let's just say at the end of my path of micro b exam i couldn't count <laughs> I wasn't sure which answers were correct. I wasn't sure which answers were flat out wrong. I wasn't sure if I made a good guess on, on particular questions. I knew when I left, I was like, I'm not sure if it's a fail, but I'm not sure if that's a pass. So I didn't feel confident that it was a sure pass, but I still went home. I packed up my dorm, I packed all my bags and I still left Jamaica anyway. I just kind of hoped for the best and I figured that, hey, if I fail, I'll just have to jump back on the plane, come to Jamaica for a day, reset the exam, and put it behind me for real this time. So now I'm in Nassau and weeks passing by, first week, second week, third week, four weeks, I think about four or five weeks passed before I got my grade. So I'm on the phone one day and I just chilling, you know, and I was like, you know what, well anyway, let me check the grade. So I go on SAS and I start scrolling, scrolling. Let's see ya. Okay, cool. Boom! Big FWR. FWR UE means fail with recent, I think. <laughs> I don't even know what it stands for. But when you see that, you just know you failed. So I reached out to my class coordinator because it wasn't enough to just know that I failed. Your actual exam grade, like your numerical grade, determined whether you had to reset the entire rotation or if you just needed to reset the paper by itself so i actually needed to know what my score was so i hit her up and i was like hey you know dr bucknot just reaching out i realized i failed like could you tell me my letter grade so you know we could not my letter grade can you tell me my actual score so you know we could arrange what this reset is gonna be like ciao dr bucknot emailed me back and she said and I'll insert it in case y'all ever doubt me. <laughs> Girl, I do one. Well, she didn't say that. You got a 48. And you know, <laughs> sometimes I rather fail by like a lot than fail by a little bit. Cause I was like, boy, in my head, I'm like, boy, Dr. Buckner, you couldn't give me two points. Like you already know I flew home, I home, I settled. Like I was a good student. I show up all the time. I mean, I was sleeping sometimes, but I mean, you could've, you could've given me a 2%. And another thing that kind of hurt me <laughs> was the way this course was structured. We had like quite a bit of course work. So we had a procedure sheet, presentations, things like that that actually contributed to your overall grade but no matter how well you did on that or no matter how that was going to pull your grade up you actually had to pass the exam in itself to pass the clerkship anyway i say all of that to say these things happen sometimes you put the work in sometimes you go to the classes sometimes you do all the research and whatever and something may still happen where you're not able to pass the class or the clerkship and from my experience the best way to deal with failure in med school is just to allow yourself to go through the different stages of grief so to speak so for me my stages are like this the first stage is my whatever time no big deal that's a little thing and I'm laughing and I'm joking about it. That's the first stage. So my second stage is like muddle. I actually study for that. I ain't gonna lie. I feel that one as a lie why I disappointed. And my third stage is like, okay, whatever. What do I have to do? A reset? What? Uh, a paper? What? What do I have to do? Okay, no problem. Whatever. 
Now my fourth stage, <laughs> boy, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't on this run. Lord, you sure I'm supposed to be doing medicine? Cause man, every time I look, I this this can't be right. Am I am I supposed to be here? And finally, my fifth stage is like cool. Okay, a reset. That ain't no big deal. Everything happens for a reason. God is working everything together for my good, so on and so forth. But as you can see, I go through one, two, three, four before I even get close to five. So to me, I think the best thing is to just allow yourself to go through your stages, whatever yours may look like. Just make sure you don't get stuck on the wrong stage. Now I'm gonna be real with y'all. I could find myself kind of lingering on my fourth stage. And my fourth stage is my I ain't gonna lie, I ain't on this run, God, you sure I'm supposed to be here kind of stage. Even when I'm doing okay academically, different things could make me land in this sentiment. It could be, you know, feeling exhausted physically or mentally otherwise. It could be feeling like I'm not where I want to be in life or everybody having baby everybody making money i still in school it could even be when i'm really missing my family i could kind of wind up in this stage so as you'd imagine if you watch that video after working as hard as i did failing is gonna be kind of like a blow to me I, I get over it pretty easily but i definitely go through the stages it's not just like oh whatever okay i go through my stages for sure now if you ever find yourself in a position where you have failed something or maybe you're just questioning and doubting whether you should be in medical school or the same work and i can't be good at this i this can't be for me i keep failing i keep messing up on um, ward rounds whatever the case may be what really helps me get through that feeling like that self-doubt that question phase or that questioning stage is going back and reminding myself why I'm in med school in the first place. Now I'm gonna be real, sometimes it takes me a long time to be able to answer that question. I think some people may be like, well why is that a difficult question for you to answer? You're in med school, you must know why you're in med school. But the truth is, medicine is such a long journey. I have been pressing towards this actively since 2011, so it's not difficult to go a year or two sometimes without really reminding yourself why you're doing this you're kind of just going through the motion sometimes and something like that hits you and you may forget what it is that you're working toward and why i've been journaling since 2015 so i literally have archives of my mental state and my thought processes for the past what's 20, what's 20 minus 15. <laughs> For the past five years sometimes i just go back in my old journals and read and kind of remind myself why i felt like med was for me sometimes i need to remind myself what god was saying to me at that time or what i felt the holy spirit was leading me to do at that time and why and it kind of just jogs my memory and kind of rebirths that motivation that i had when i first started this thing and i would say this once you remember or find out what it is that you're working toward and why you could fall 20 more times and it's almost like it wouldn't matter because you know what you're getting up for another thing that really helps me and you may know this about me if you um, have followed me since i was on my personal youtube channel my doing learn channel but i have a tattoo right here <laughs> that says Romans 8.28 and that is my favorite Bible verse and I actually got this tattoo before I went on my leave of absence but the Bible verse is God causes all things to work together for good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose so sometimes I just have to remind myself that the God I serve and the God who I believe put me into this space or put me into this line of work is allowing all things to work together for my good even the times I fail so when I failed this last time, I thought to myself, I said, well, hey, you know what? I didn't cover all the information and this is information that I need to be a functional physician. These are the things I need to know to be who God has called me to be. So maybe I need to do it again. You know, if I had just barely scraped and got a 50, I wouldn't be the best version of a doing that I could be if I were to just start from scratch, do it again and, you know, be able to score higher. Not for the score itself because... And you, your score don't change. Your F will stay there <laughs> and then they'll give you a C. But you're going to know more information after having repeated 
that exam and in this time where i'm literally quarantined i have nobody bothering me i have nothing else going on it's almost like a divine time for me to sit back and go over the things i said i didn't have time to cover before now i have all this time and remember i thought i was gonna have to fly back to jamaica with all of this going on i might be able to take this exam right here in the comfort of my own country so i just feel like when you're in line with what it is god is calling you to do even if you fail even if you mess up it's all working together for your good anyway so guys i hope this video wasn't too long thank you so much for watching i really hope and pray that this video helped motivate someone even if it's just to remind you that you are not in this alone comment down below if you have any tips for dealing with failure in medical school share this video with someone who you feel might need it and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be notified each and every single time i post on this channel thank you so much again for watching and i hope to see you on my next video bye